Welcome to our lecture online and here we're going to talk about the double angle formulas. Now these are probably some of the most useful formulas in trigonometry. What it does is it converts a double angle into a single angle equation. So instead of having the sine of 2a we can write as 2 times the sine of a times the cosine of a. Now quite often it's usual in the other direction. Sometimes you have something that looks like this and it's very handy to be able to then rewrite it like that. So we need to be able to go back and forth between these two. Especially this one right here. The 2 times the sine of a cosine of a, if you realize that that's equal to the sine of 2a, that is very helpful in a lot of situations. Both in physics and in, in calculus, it's nice to know to be able to go back and forth. Especially when you start doing integrations, to be able to work these very cleverly like this, you can sometimes end up with an integration that you just don't know how to do and then convert it into something that is easily to do. So it's very important that you learn how to, um, to do this. And memorization of these is definitely a must, I would say. Here, the cosine of 2a is equal to the cosine squared of a minus the sine squared of a. Now remember, since you also know that the sine squared of a plus the cosine squared of a is equal to 1, we could replace one of these by, for example, sine squared of a by cosine squared of a um, or 1 minus the cosine squared of a and substitute, you end up with these other two forms of the same equation. So the cosine of 2a can also be written as 1 minus 2 times the sine squared of a or 2 times the cosine squared of a minus 1, simply by using that, that uh, identity. And finally, the tangent of 2a, that can be written as 2 times the tangent of a divided by 1 minus the tangent squared of a. So these are very handy formulas where you can convert from a double angle to a single angle or from a single angle to a double angle, whichever way is most convenient at the time that you're working the problem. I will show you some examples of this so that it makes a lot of sense. And also you may wonder, well, how do you know that these are actually correct? I'll have some videos that show you why we know that these are correct. So stay tuned if you're interested in this.